So in the last two months, I've had my music used 21 times on TV, but the question is, how do you do that? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I got my first placement and how you can get into sync licensing as a producer. But first, I wanna talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is DistroKid. One of my favorite features about DistroKid is HyperFollow. It's a completely free promotional tool for anyone using DistroKid, and it's the one must-have link that leads to your music on all streaming services the instant you finish uploading your track. You're also able to customize the HyperFollow link to include video, links to all your socials, and to whatever stores that you want it to include. And the second that your release goes live, the HyperFollow page will automatically update to include the links to all the streaming services and stores. This is the easiest way for you to get your Spotify pre-saves, which you should do right now by clicking the link down below to save my upcoming single, Empire. And if you haven't signed up for DistroKid yet, you can use the link below to save yourself 7% on your first year of DistroKid. And now back to today's video. All right, so I signed my first deal with a music library back in November of 2020. And they originally heard one of my percussion tracks and wanted to sign more music from me. So I sent them a bunch of stuff, which typically you shouldn't really do. You should kind of stick with one genre. But in that batch of music that I sent them was some hip hop tracks that were labeled under the urban tension genre. And I have breakdown videos, including the beat that I used for the first time on my channel, which I'll link to below in the description too. But basically the first step in your sync licensing journey and the easiest step is to get your music into a music library. These are existing catalogs of music that they have built relationships with TV show networks, uh, music supervisors, ad agencies, you name it. That's where those people go to get music to use in their projects. Now, one thing I want you to remember here is that there's no set time it's gonna take for one, your music to get uploaded into their catalog, two, to see your first placement, and three, to get your royalties. So eventually, TuneSat picked up a usage for one of my tracks and it was used in a TV show called Galileo, which airs in Germany and multiple other countries in Europe. And it has millions of viewers, which is pretty cool. So here's a quick clip of the TV show. Auch wenn sie gute Startmöglichkeiten hatte, muss sie hart arbeiten, um zu dem einen Prozent Kuban... All right, so it sounds easy, right? But it's not. I'm gonna tell you the biggest part of the learning curve for me was coming from like a beatmaker mindset, learning how to structure beats, which you shouldn't really call beats, turning them into licensable tracks that music supervisors are gonna be able to look at and say, yeah, that's gonna help move our scene forward. And it conveys the specific emotion that we need, the specific mood that we need for that scene. So if you're not familiar with how to structure your tracks, I have multiple videos on my channel helping you to understand how that works. But there's a lot of other things to understand too on the business side, what type of deals you're gonna be looking at, how long it's gonna to take to get your royalties, etc. Which is why I put together a free six step starter guide to help you understand what you're getting into if you're looking to get into sync licensing. And you can check that out at the link below. You're gonna get a bunch of emails from me too that's gonna to help expand upon a lot of the different steps. But the cool thing is that depending on what music library you land in and who knows man, five years from now, it, it might land somewhere else as well too. But the same track can get used over and over again. It can get used in replays, so you're gonna get more usages and collect more royalties. Or for all you know, it might get picked up and used in a trailer or a commercial, which are bigger, more lucrative placements. And I know a lot of producers have probably been thinking about sync licensing for a while. They've probably heard about it and known about it for a while. So let me know in the comments what's holding you back from getting into it. And I wanna be completely transparent with you. For the record, this library deal that I struck, my first library deal, I got through a Taxi listing. So I submitted my music through Taxi to the listing that the library posted with Taxi. They heard my music and then wanted to sign a deal with me. So proof right there, no matter what you think, I don't care. Taxi does work, it's just not for everybody. And if you want a little bit more in-depth explanation about that, make sure to check out this video right here. And if you have any more questions about sync licensing, make sure to ask me, click the links down below. I'm trying to help as many producers as possible learn about sync licensing and whether it works for them or not. But that's all for today's video. Thanks again to DistroKid. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this if you got any value from it and I'll catch you in the next video.